As a media composer, writing and coming up with a character theme for anything can often be quite a challenge. So today I want to share with you a game that I like to play that might make things a little easier. When you compose a theme for something, such as a character or location, it's important that your music matches your subject. So if your character is cool, then your music should be cool as well. And if your movie is set in a certain time or location in history, then it's important that your music sounds like that place or time as well. Your music is as much part of the story as anything else, so it's important that your music reflects that story in the right ways. The game we're going to play for this is called the Association Game. You play it when you need to write a theme for anything, basically, and it helps discovering the story you need to tell a little easier. The game has five steps, and each one of those steps can help you figure out what is important about your subject and ways your music can reflect that. It's simple enough, and if you stick with it, it can really boost the clarity with which you write a character theme. Oh, and uh, since we're writing music for something, I'll be writing a theme for... A butterfly. <laughs> So for step one, we're going to loosely associate anything you can think of about your subject. So what does it feel like? What does it do? What does it mean? Whatever comes to mind when you think about your subject, write it down. When I think about the butterfly, I'm thinking about the way it moves, the way it looks. It's fluttering, it's flappy, it's beautiful, it's elegant, it's colorful, but it's also quite fragile. And in some stories and traditions, the butterfly is seen as a spiritual being, a mysterious, otherworldly creature. So anything that comes to mind, anything you associate with your subject, write it down and we'll move on to step number two. So now that we have written down a list of associations, we're gonna rank them from low to high where low means low emotional value or low story significance, and high means high emotional value or high story significance. So in the case of our butterfly friend, I'm gonna say flappy, fluttery, jittering through the air. That doesn't hold a lot of emotional weight to me, nor is it very important to the story. It's a trait of a butterfly, but that's kind of it. So I'm putting that at the bottom of our list. Then in the middle, I'm gonna put beautiful yet fragile. Wow, that's just a beautiful description of a butterfly. And it has a lot of character meaning and a lot of emotional value to me, but not as much story significance. So I'm putting it at the middle, very good association, but not the highest one. For me, the highest value association is spiritual. It's mysterious, it's otherworldly. That just holds so much emotional weight and also story significance and story potential. Because depending on how you interpret this, it can quite drastically change the character and story of the butterfly. Put a pin in that, that's gonna be quite important. So now we can start linking our associations with music. So let's start at the top. Spiritual, mysterious, otherworldly. I'm thinking, Ritual bells, I'm thinking singing bowls, I'm thinking weird scales we can use, and because it's our most important and most valued association, I'm gonna give this association a melody, and I can say, I'm gonna make a singing bowl play a melody in such and such scale. Then let's move to beautiful and fragile. Right off the bat, I'm thinking about a harp. That's exactly how I would describe a harp. Beautiful, fragile, delicate. It's such an amazing sound, and I love using it wherever I can. And honestly, I would love to have this sound somewhere in there. I wouldn't give it a melody per se, because it's not the most valuable association we have, but I might give it arpeggios or chords, or but any filler kind of function that sets an atmosphere for the song. And then let's move to our lowest association, flappy, jittery, fluttering through the air. As we said before, it doesn't have a lot of emotional weight, and it doesn't have a lot of significance to the story, but it is a quite important characteristic of a butterfly, so we don't want it not to be there. So, for example, what we could do is mimic the sound of flapping wings and use that in sound design as details or embellishments during the music, but nothing in the foreground. Or what we could do is we could try to give every aspect of the music a very subtle, fluttery quality. So maybe you can see what's happening here. Just like the values of the associations are high and low, there's also a hierarchy of things that's gonna happen in the music as well. The singing bowl is gonna play a melody in this scale, and the harp is gonna play fluttery sounding arpeggios and chords to set an atmosphere also in this scale. Put them all together, and we get this.
This is mysterious. This is kind of spiritual. We don't know what this butterfly is. It might be a creature from the beyond. It might be a messenger. It might be someone who resembles a lost one who is now in the afterlife and comes to visit us via this insectoid form. You shape the identity of your subject simply by how you value your associations. So if you flip them, how does that change your subject? How does that change the story? We valued mysteriousness and spirituality, but if you flip that around, flappy is the way to go, all the way. Fluttery, that's the main thing of our subject. Whereas spirituality, it's not, it, you know, doesn't really mean that much anymore. Where first it might have been a messenger from the beyond, right now the butterfly is a very bad messenger from the beyond. And we already know what the associations sound like, that doesn't change. The only thing it changes is how important these sounds are. We already know that the most important association determines the melody and the scale. So since that's flappy and fluttery, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna choose the most cheerful scale I can find and just flap it around. The harp is still the middle association, so that doesn't change. And now the lowest association, that's spirituality. That's mystery. Those singing bowls and ritual bells now have the function of showing that this butterfly is flappy, it's fluttery, yes, but it's also still slightly connected to the spiritual world. Put it all together, and we get this. <laughs> Completely flipping the scale changes your subject, and that might not always be desirable, but it can help you see the subject in new and unexpected ways, it can help you value the subject more. How does focusing on different values change the meaning of the story? Let's take it to our butterfly friend again. First it was a mysterious messenger, and then it was rather innocent. And you might say, oh well, I'd rather just focus on the messenger from the beyond part. Fine, let's remove all the values we already had and all the associations we already had and just stick with the most basic interpretation of spirituality in a butterfly we had, bells. That's it. You want to make it a side character? Use a single bell. This is now a very simple character with a very simple theme and it definitely doesn't hold a lot of weight. Maybe it's like a spiritual mailman or something like that. So if this character needs a lot more emotional weight, we could just simply make the sound a lot heavier and it would sound like this. Maybe our main characters have been waiting for the arrival of this butterfly for 20 or 30 minutes, and finally, it's here. It's still just a messenger, but it's quite important. The music you write for a character should enhance the characteristics of that subject and enhance the story in general. And I love playing this game for that because it helps you hone in on which details are important for a character. And when you finished a song, whether that was successful or not, it helps you focus on exactly what went wrong. You're creating this kind of roadmap to your music where you link associations to certain sounds in music or scales or melodies. And when your music doesn't exactly sound right, you can quite literally pinpoint which sound it was that might not fit the feeling you're going for. Now this is quite an elaborate way of looking at writing character themes, but if you play this game a couple of times, you start internalizing these connections, these associations, and it becomes much more vivid in your mind to see when you did something wrong, when you did something right, what part of a story should sound like what, and these translations begin to happen much more rapidly and much more intuitively. Because that's all it is. It's translating what you feel a character is to what you feel the music should be, and ultimately, that's what it comes down to. That's the association game. To any of you composers out there, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave it down below. I love to help you along and help you get better at writing these things. And, uh... Come on, don't fail me. Subscribe. <laughs>